time and call me a paleontologist because I got a bone to pick with you, brother. <laughs> You like oh, oh no! You like Permission that? to dig? <laughs> Permission to yeah, excavate. Excavate. Um, really, it's just it's just an old man thing. This is such a small thing that I should not care about. He's not capitalizing um, his letters again. <laughs> close ish. Not that's not a Gen Z thing. It's just a what? Why? Why? Uh, kind of scared. You, did you just recently get a new license plate? Yes. Kansas changed their license plates to have like four letters and then three numbers. Oh, it's at a three and three. I don't know why, but it's bothering the heck out of me. And, there and no, there's great. no space. Yeah, something about it. It's like it oh, doesn't it's like look a password. Right. It looks like you're driving a government vehicle around or something. <laughs> it is interesting. I don't know why, but it's really setting me off. And I'm the only one that has. <laughs> no, no. But well, you're the only one in this room that does right now. <laughs> I see why you have such a problem with time and specifically. Yeah, because. He started it. Yeah, Timon did it. Tymon, <laughs> as far as you know. As far as I know, Timon could have said, no, thank you. I'd like the three and three, please. No, thanks. Can I go three and three? And I'm pretty sure it used to be letter or numbers, letters. Okay. And now I think yeah, it's it switched. Was. Four letters, three numbers. So, I don't know. I think it's, it's letters at the end still. Is it? Yeah. What, what is your license plate number? Well, now I'm mad at Timon for trying to prove you wrong. <laughs> now I'm mad at Timon for just being insubordinate. <laughs> insubordinate. <laughs> what, what, how do you know Timon's new license plate isn't just a vanity plate? What did, it, what did it say? Yeah, it said, uh, "Wow, oh, dang! What, is, what does it say?" Oh, it said, uh, "It said, um, it said." Oh, what did it say? Love. It said L U V. Yeah. Love, and then it said in love in N R S, and it looks inappropriate, but love. he means neighbors. Oh. Love, love. <laughs> he loves neighbors. I was. I thought he was saying love. He's he's a Viking. He's a fan of um, the animals that Vikings rode on back in the day, and so Vikings. he loves <laughs> he loves Norses. <laughs> Norses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just get on with it. <clears throat> All right. Stop messing with my license plate. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. Be okay is great. Just okay. Like, all right, however long you need to do this. Yeah, just man. Get out of okay, your system. Okay, I can put the intro music wherever you need it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, Philadelphia, just stop yelling at all me. All right, just <laughs> calm down. It's a city. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, are. everybody. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Good Ranchers. Meat. It's Check American, them out American if you want delivered. meat of any kind. White meat, fish, you get it. Oh. Free bacon. It's the best. Like uh, it's gonna be a great episode. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. Uh, let's start off hot. What do you want to start with? No, no, you start. You start off. Fought. Fought. <clears throat> Excuse? Fought. Uh, fought. I fought you. <laughs> there are so many ghosties in the Northeast. I saw so many of them this past weekend. Yeah? We, we need to do some kind of get-together in Pennsylvania. There, there's just so many of them. Really? I think between Lancaster, Link, Lancaster? Lancaster. Lancaster, PA, Gate CUR, CURB, uh-huh. you know. And uh, the Reading show was really great. There's just so many ghosties there. Geographically, how close are those two cities? I don't know where Lancaster is, but Reading is only like an hour west-ish of Philadelphia. Okay. So just a pretty what, decent suburb of it. What makes Reading a place that you guys keep going back to if you're at, in Philadelphia? Do you know? I don't know. Maybe there's just a lot of people there. I'll tell you, not a lot going on in Reading. Okay. And I don't like talking bad about towns, but we went there on a Sunday and there was just nothing open. Like there's no cute coffee shops downtown. It's crazy. Hey, two acai places? Oh, both closed on Sunday. Just no coffee shop. closed. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's Starbucks. All right. Not ideal, but I'll take it. Starbucks closed on Sunday. It's just like a very like. Just nothing's open. Yeah. Conservative Christian, like, you know, just maybe nothing, or whatever, something. Yeah. Just uh, understood. Yeah. Uh, Lucas okay. actually opened with it. He did jokes about how nothing is open in this whole town because it really was true. That was our wow. experience. But anyway. But yet your show is on Sunday. Like, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> the only thing open. So. Hmm. Um, you get some good uh, times with some ghosties, though. Yeah, saw a lot of ghosties. Uh, signed a hat that Isaac had already signed. That's always okay. fun. And uh, yeah, the Reading show was awesome. All the shows this weekend were very, very good. Um, but yeah, they were just awesome. It's just like sometimes I can 
n- never really get down on myself, but just like never super confident in myself as a stand-up comedian. Like I'm an opener. I've been doing this three years. I have a lot to learn, a lot to get better at. But then people are just so nice. Yeah. I don't know. When I only do 20 minutes and I'm in between Lucas and Trey, I feel like that it just it works really well. And man, I just felt like I was I was getting them going. Yeah, it yeah. was just, it was really loud and it was really fun. I had some great moments and go off. Good crowd work. Thank you, Timon. And do you prefer a solid 20 over uh uh do you for do you prefer an eight out of ten 20 over a seven out of ten 30? Oh yeah. Yeah. The goal is always to leave them wanting more. So whatever it takes. Let them more. If I can leave them wanting more by doing 20 minutes, then let's do it. Yeah. It's easier to do it with five to ten minutes. But yeah, so it went great. Good uh some fun crowd work in all the towns. I I need to start writing them down better. It's hard to remember now. In the moment, you're like, of course I'll remember that. It was hilarious, dude. But when you've done it a million times. Uh, yeah, now they all kind of bleed together. But yeah. I remember a guy like had a old-time telephone ringtone go off. Made fun of that guy for all. <laughs> that's not even right. That still sounds too like new age. It's like uh-huh. the old school landline went off. Um, <laughs> really went off on him. Just for having... Uh, one girl, I said, what's like, what's your town kind of known for? She's like, it's just like a, I don't know, like a small... Town. It's just small. Everything's small. And I was like dwarfism. dwarfism a lot of dwarfism. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know, doing some jokes there. And then what do you do for a living? I, I run a daycare. There oh, you go. Everybody's small. Right. Uh, yeah. Of course everything's <laughs> small. Yeah. That's all you o- operate with. Yeah. You got a lot longer shelf life there with those guys. Hey, the whole thing is small. Um, nice. Anyway, it's just fun times. Reading was great. Ghosties are great. Good, Good times in Philadelphia. I'm feeling confident. And um, my comment of the week, hey, whatever. You have to do your comment of the week. I'll just do my comment of the week. <laughs> okay. um, I'm just going. Uh, comes from. Katie, Beth, Edmund. Oh, yeah. Got to see Jake perform this last week in Norfolk. It was so wonderful. I also gave a quick wave to Isaac at the merch table. <laughs> My family came, uh, came along when Jake came to Virginia Beach over a year ago, and wow, he has got this down. Jake was so confident and hilarious. After the show, my family said they wish they could have seen more Jake. Leave one more? That's right. Leave one more. One then watch. More. Uh, then they called me a super fan, so yeah, I'm pretty proud. Come back to Norfolk. And then she bleeped out the rest. Anytime, yeah. Jake. <laughs> did you make jokes about that? Yeah, I did a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I grew Nothing. up. I wouldn't even be able to say the town I'm in right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still scared to say it now. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but <laughs> just kind of uh, mumble through it. No. For, nah, but for. anyway, Katie Beth, uh, thanks, Mama. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> thanks for the kind words, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> and that was nice. I uh, I appreciate words of aff, especially with stand up. I yeah. still feel new at it. Because you're going somewhere again next week? Yeah, we leave Wednesday. So it's a okay. Wednesday through Saturday. Where do we go? Roanoke? Mm. Something like that? I Been think. there before? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. No, right? I don't know. Is that, is, <laughs> Maybe. Isn't that kind of amazing to you? Because the limo, yeah, the limo Oh, track. sorry, 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 sorry. I meant like, have you ever performed comedy? Oh, never done comedy. Huh? No, I don't think we've ever done comedy there. But isn't ever... that kind of amazing that you're like, yeah. Yeah. I, it's hard to remember all the places I've done comedy. Yeah, because I think we did Richmond one time. Never done Roanoke. Okay. Are those even close? I don't know. Same. Ooh, State. I felt it on my foot. Was yeah, that, that wedding that ring. Really wedding ring? Oh, went a ways over there. You switch? Um, switch rings, dude? Speaking of jewelry, I noticed you're wearing a watch. What's that all about? Oh, dude, uh, Ghosty sent us some watches. Oh, I have one? Yeah, we got it. We got it. Like, so John Luke Cave, shout out to John Luke. Yeah. Um, tried to start a, tried to, he started, he started a uh, drop shipping business a while oh, back. Oh, cool. I think he's probably, I'm assuming things, but I think he saw like, hey, you can make extra money, passive income with mm you know, Alibaba or whatever and started to watch business. And I don't think it, um, ever came to fruition. So he's like, Hey, I got like th- 20 watches. You want, you want me to send them to you? Oh, cool. So some of them are wild. dude. That one looks nice. It's fun. I don't know if it works that well. well. It seems, it seems like about <laughs> every two hours, it loses a minute. <laughs> that's so that, that's rough yeah. <laughs> for a watch or, or sometimes, <laughs> but I don't know if it's really the watch like not working well, or if it's this, like if Maybe the dial wrist. just comes every once in a while out a little bit. So oh. anyway, um, well, that's why we support good ranchers, not China. That's right. This is from liege L I G E. My liege. My liege. Um, let's see. What was I got? Oh, uh, Catherine, we, we hired, we hired a maid cleaning service to come to our house today. Um, dude, I want it. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds so awesome. Okay. Uh, arena Holyfield. Timon? Yeah, I know who that is. Do you? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. She's like local. Yeah. Yeah. And she came I, to... I know someone who goes to her church. She's holy, like a Greenleaf girl who like... I Whatever. Yeah. yeah. He, her and Paul, Bri- Paul Bryant uh, came to Sense and Sensibility, whatever. Came uh-huh. to... Yeah. Anyway, 
Awesome. Uh, that was a weird conversation, but now I believe you guys. For yeah. a while, I thought you guys were just messing with me. Are we in Holyfield? Timon. Well, I, I thought Timon was like, yeah, 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 Timon said Ty, yeah. No, oh, it took me a second. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm Rita. just not good at talking, but that's okay. Huh? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she okay. works for this company, Clean Heart Maids. Shout out Clean Heart Maids. Create me a clean heart. Oh, God. Clean heart maids. Clean heart maids. Anyway, they come to my house today. And renew a right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> renew, yeah. Restoring me. Um, but they came to my house today, this morning, do a deep clean of the house. Catherine's like, we got all the sickness. We're kind of getting over it. Let's let's get it out. Let's get all the germs out, blah, 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 blah. Um, and yesterday, Catherine cleaned our house very well. <laughs> Pre-cleaner? Pre-clean for, uh, for the... Oh, yep. And 100% this, something my mom would do. This yeah. is this is the greatest business ad idea in the world. It seems like, I don't know, maybe maybe not everybody would do this, but like, it seems like most people are going to be like, I can't make them clean too much, so I'm going to clean up beforehand. And then you walk in, it's like, well, people aren't really going to notice if I don't clean that well. It's pretty clean in here already. Like our house was cleaner when they got there today than it has been <laughs> for two months. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, so spick funny. and span. Like we woke the kids up today. We're like, don't play with a single toy. We're going to breakfast. We're going eating out. Like we're leaving. All right. Life hack. <clears throat> Three months from now, you tell Catherine, Hey, I'm going to do a little something nice for you. You go out, get a little spa day. I'm going to have a cleaner come to my house while you're at the spa. And that's kind of how you leave it. Catherine's like, well, I could feel bad. I'm wow. going to clean up the house before <laughs> I go to the spa. Wow. While she's out to the spa, all you really do is just spray a bunch of cleaner. Just like, yeah. Give the shower a wipe down. Give, Give the a nice counter a wipe smell. down. Just so it smells really clean in there. Maybe fold some the the towel or like the um toilet paper up a little bit. Do 10 minutes of work. And she'll <laughs> think you hired a cleaner to come for an hour and a half. <laughs> that is and genius. she has cleaned the house for you. Open up the windows. Like, yeah. Yeah. Put some like Lysol in the air. Have a new candle she's never seen before <laughs> yeah. going when she gets back. Like, wow, she even brought us a candle. Oh. Yeah, she's best. She's well, best. Yeah. That's Serena that, Holyfield. That, that's that's what time and knows her. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, anyway, I was like, what other, is there another business where we can basically have the people do the work for us? I think then, dentistry is this way. People go to the dentist like, well, I got to floss before I go to the dentist. Not me. I eat on the way to the dentist. I make them earn it. <laughs> That's right. I, I have a tub of top popcorn before. I, <laughs> I mean it in between, you yeah. know, the cleaning. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Like All right, between the up. hygienist and the dentist that comes in. <laughs> I'm eating more like, popcorn. I don't think so. Dr. Gross in here. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in there. I think people really like to floss the day they're going to the dentist. And no other day. Yeah. And so you're just super bloody. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys floss? Why would I? I <laughs> <laughs> Why give me one good reason to floss. Why does anyone ever floss? <laughs> Dude, one time there's this no reminds me. We were um this is I maybe I was back in Iowa for Christmas, and for whatever reason, I got looking up just like I was just quizzing. I was like, Tim, what are you learning about right now in law school? And he told me, it's like, all right, we'll see about that. And I just Googled whatever, it, you know, some category of life I've never even heard of. It was just Googling questions and asking Tim. And also everyone was answering. It was like a multiple choice. And it ended up being kind of fun. It's like, you could kind of maybe guess, you know, like who is at fault here? And it's kind of fun to okay. guess. Anyway, um, we were doing this for a few minutes. And I feel like everyone's having a good time. I don't know. And everyone gets the question wrong. Tim gets it right. And he's like, that's, you know, you know, law school or something. And Tim and Rachel's grandma goes, why do we need any of this? <laughs> <laughs> and Tim's like, this is my career. <laughs> and also it's the it's law. The law. <laughs> Law's a pretty what's big you, deal. What's grandma? your argument here? <laughs> oh, she like got like five questions in a row. Right? Oh, why do we need any of this stuff? <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's still living in Mayberry. Like there's nothing that goes wrong there's in no this town. There's no crime. Yeah. Why do, no one sues anybody. No, that's not real. That's me and flossing. What's the big idea? Yeah. Want to get bloody for and take four minutes out of my day? Oh. Four minutes. Four minutes, then what? You're just bad at flossing. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get in there. Because you don't floss. I, 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 I feel like I should floss. Like I don't, I'm not quite with you on like, why does anyone floss? I feel like it'd be a good thing to floss, but I don't. Oh, it's definitely a good thing for you. Yeah. Yeah. Then maybe that's just big dentistry because they always tell you to floss. Yeah. But are they controlled by the floss companies? Yeah, what's what's in that floss that you don't know about? That's you know mRNA decaying your teeth, yep. so that you need the dentist to fix it. That's why I drink sparkling flavored stuff out of a can. <laughs> I get my that's right. Get my fluoride fluoride that way. Anyway, yeah, I'm just trying to think of another business idea where basically they do the work. Like, uh, 
what's it, Nathan, for you, that show the about moving? you? Yeah. yeah, like CrossFit moving company. Yes. <laughs> where you, you pay people to move stuff for you. That's, right, that's very genius. Um, yeah. That's fun. Well, John Luke Cave, thanks for the watch. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll bring some over for you. There, I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see which ones you're like attracted to because <laughs> there are some. There's one that like it's literally just two, two like dots, like almost like metal dots, and they just move every once in a while. Oh. And one represents the hour, one represents wow. the minutes. Wow. Let them and I'm like, that's one of those ones that's like, I'm never going to wear this, but I can see Jake being like, that's actually pretty cool. I love dots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dots are cool. So, anyway, yeah. That's shout fun. Out to uh, can we do funny, phony phrases? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's back. We've done this uh, segment twice before, I think. These are phrases that don't exist. Phony phrases. Brad, what's your first one? Um, first of all, I want to say shout out to the Ghosties. I went live last night and got some got some uh, submissions from them. Mm. Timon, um, did you uh, plagiarize any of your work? Yeah, did I you did... cheat, Timon? <laughs> nope. I'm not going to give credit to anybody on yeah, any Yeah, me neither. Mine's all my own original work. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which ones are theirs, which ones are mine. Oh, I have something similar. I have, I came up with, um, there's, I have six total, or five or six total, and two of them are AI. Whoops, that's plagiarism. <laughs> can <laughs> That is more plagiarized than mine. I wanted to play a game. <laughs> All right. See if you can tell which oh, okay. is AI. Okay. Let's go. Let's just go one by one then. Okay. Uh, Burger King doesn't wear the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Explain this one. Just because you call yourself the king doesn't mean you're the best. You're not the best. Burger King doesn't wear the crown. Just because you have the nominal name, just because your last name is the same as Steve Triplets doesn't mean you just automatically are right, guaranteed triplet. this, you know, this mm -hmm. birthright, this... You don't you you make your own way in life. Burger King doesn't wear the crown. Just because you get a domain off GoDaddy, you don't need to father a child. Yeah, that's what you're saying, basically. Yeah, exactly. No, that is good. Burger King doesn't wear the crown. Burger King doesn't wear the crown. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Nice. Oh, all of them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Or if we want, I don't know. Don't um, we play Timon's game. Hey, that's like using a paper bag on a rainy day. I just gotta get wet. It's just it's just not gonna, <laughs> it's not going to be effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> Man, that's sweeter than water in the middle of the night. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, just something just hits the that spot. That just feels good, dude. There's nothing like <laughs> night water. Just I just need a drink of water right now. Yeah, I'm sweeter trying to figure water. out a time to use in a sentence. Just like, dude, I pured that golf ball. That was sweeter than water in the middle of the night. Ooh, baby, that was just perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, hey, you don't see the melted ice cube till your socks wet. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. You don't. You yeah. feel it. You thought all the ground was totally fine. And all of a sudden, like, I guess I stepped on a somewhat melted ice cube. Mm -hmm. oh, take yep. my sock off now. Wow. Uh, you can get sunburned when it's cloudy. That's good word. Ooh, you know? That's a good word. Australia, for sure. Hey, yeah. Don't don't put your guard down all the way. You can get sunburned when it's cloudy. Yeah. Put your guard up. <clears throat> that's um, good. Okay. <laughs> Where there's a sink, there's also a drain. I don't really get that one that much. That one wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get it, but... <laughs> Where there's a sink, there's also a drain. Just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm having trouble finding it. <laughs> uh, this one is, uh, I, I wrote this one down purely because Caleb Tywater posted or sent it to me. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't really get it, that, but I put Caleb Tywater next to it because Jake will be excited about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, toes don't curl in the winter. What does that mean? I don't get it, when they... nor is it true. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand what. <laughs> You ever nestled, nestled up next to an open fire, Caleb? <laughs> my, I don't know when my toes ever curl. I'm Much less in right the now. summertime. Yeah. Toes don't curl in the winter. I was like, Caleb, you're a weirdo. Good try. So let me try it. Um, okay. Let him try. Let's see. How about... That's a tail that belongs to a different dog. <laughs> that tail belongs to a just it dog. doesn't quite match up no yeah it's not quite it's it. like someone's face doesn't fit their body shape or something yeah. that's a tail of a different dog right there that's good i like that okay this one's uh submitted by i believe it's susan i can't remember susan walker maybe anyway um she submitted like four and like on our live and i was like i don't get it i'm not writing that down <laughs> finally i was like you're trying so hard i'm writing this down for you <laughs> Uh, they're so skinny, or he's so skinny, he could turn sideways and stick his tongue out, and he l would look like a zipper. <laughs> How do you even think of that? She had some other ones that were even more like I don't. Sue's, what's going on up upstairs? Uh, Wait, that's interesting. That's fascinating that you could even think of something like that. Say it again. So skinny, he could turn sideways and stick his tongue out, and he looks like a zipper. 
<laughs> I don't know. That's not how zippers look to me. But I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe oh. that it's true. Yeah. And then Maybe there's a typo on there. So I don't know. <laughs> I'll end it with this one. I got more, but um, this one's just simple. If the shirt's too big, don't wear it. Which means? It means, hey, if it doesn't make sense, if it's not the right fit, then don't... Like, don't force it. Yeah, don't force it. If shirt's too big, don't wear it. If shirt's too big, don't wear it. So those are my funny phrases, me and the ghosties. That's fun. <laughs> it's about half and half. All right, time. It's you have six and two are AI. Correct. All right, give it to us. That's like taking a photo with the cap on. If someone's confident in what they're doing... <laughs> Okay, no, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's like confidently doing something, but they don't realize they're doing it blindly. They're Dude. gonna make a fool of themselves. Yeah. It's like taking a photo with the cap on. Dude, your lens cap is on. Yeah. Definitely timing. It's like <laughs> taking a photo with the cap on. It's like I try to fire up the grill and you're all out of propane. Mm hmm. Yeah. Something mm-hmm. like that. I'm, I'm not claiming that any of mine are good. Just, hey, just, I hey. like it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this one's so stupid. The rules of a graham cracker can be broken. <laughs> Meaning. Graham crackers, they have the lines and the like perforations oh. in them to help you. But even if you break them in a different spot, they still, t- they still no well, break. Re- break still where you break them. You got me with the explanation. At so, first, I was like, "What does that mean?" You dude? can go outside the boundaries sometimes. Okay. Yeah, you can color outside the lines. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is fun that graham. How many foods come with a perforation? Is it only graham crackers? Kinda, maybe. Sure. Hershey's. There Hershey's. you go. Kit Kat for sure. Yeah, a lot of chocolate. But yeah. how many non chocolates come with perforation? Okay. Not many. Non chalk perforage. Could you argue bread with the crest? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Um, that's like climbing a staircase made of sand. Ooh, I like that one. That's Putting it. effort into something that like never work. The sand keeps just like crumbling underneath you. Yeah. I guess the sand doesn't have water. Then it might work. Turn into mud, mm. and the mouse gets to the top. <laughs> uh. It's like believing a selfie. Okay, hear, hear me out. <laughs> a selfie can sometimes be a mirror image of what the actual world looks like, yeah, and therefore sorry, a I... false view of reality. If someone is trusting something that isn't completely true, it's like the... <laughs> 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 you know, no, no. Zip, zipper one's not sounding too bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> zipper one makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> it's oh, like sticking man. a tongue out in sideways in a selfie. <laughs> in, the, in the sand. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> uh, planting seeds in concrete. Mm. Attempting to initiate change in an unchangeable environment. Wasting time on something that won't bear any fruit. That's good. Mm. And then one last one. A pirate can still shoot a gun. <laughs> <laughs> They're known for their swords. <laughs> Even if you f- feel like you have limitations, don't let that stop you. Pirates have an eye patch, but they can still aim a pistol. <laughs> oh, pirates have an eye patch. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's it. I thought I three of them were AI. So uh, <laughs> that's just how bad I am at this, I guess. No. No, it's, no, no. Those are fun. What are your guesses okay. on AI? Plant seeds in concrete. Yes. Okay. That's my guess too. And then the one that he explained verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that like were pretty well written out uh, as far as explanations. Uh, what, what was the other one that you said? Um, the third or fourth one? The uh, climbing up sand. Those are my three guesses for AI. No, climbing up sand. What was, There's two AI. Yeah, yeah, I know. By three guesses. What was your oh, cool. What was your fourth one that you said, Timon? Uh, With the explanation. Believing a selfie. Yeah, Belie- yeah. Believing a uh, believing a selfie though. A selfie. It's a, yeah. I that have is it. so random that AI. I, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go sand and concrete. All right, I'll go selfie and concrete. It was sand and concrete. Oh, Dang. Nice. The selfie one, like the way you explained it. I have it AI written. Ex- I have it written, written pretty like like I have a selfie can sometimes be a mirror image of what the actual world looks like and therefore a false <laughs> view of reality. Timon is AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressive. All right, Jake. All right. My funny phrases are, uh, birds aren't homeless. <laughs> yeah. You ever think about that? Yeah. If you have skills, if you have knowledge to do something, you'll never, you can never have that taken away from you. Birds can always, if you have the knowledge to build a nest, they got a nest. you can always build yourself a home. Deep. Hey, wow. birds ain't homeless. Hey, come on. Gas ain't free. Uh, <laughs> let's stick with the tree theme, if you don't mind. The motif. Sharks can't climb trees. <laughs> Uh, you say this like, look, I'm good at stuff. I can't do everything. Yes. It's like, uh, hey, Jake, do you want to do stand-up comedy and then edit your own special and sing a little song? Look, hey, come on. Great white sharks can't climb trees. Right. Like sharks are very respected in their environment. They could do a <laughs> handful of things. But they're not, yeah, they're not arborists. You don't ask them to climb a tree. Right. <sighs> 
<laughs> All right, this one, <laughs> this one's a little different. This one's less of like an idiom. It's more just like, whatever. Bedtime in China. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I want us to start using this more. So I looked up the, the Chinese uh, time zone versus ours. So 10 p.m. there is 8 a.m. here. Okay. So I, I think we should start using this just another way of saying like in the morning or bedtime breakfast China. time. Okay. You know, like I sit that over. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. I got it around. Uh, it must have been bedtime in China when I got that. <laughs> <laughs> that just means this morning. Okay. Yeah. It must have been. Uh, we, we got together for coffee. <clears throat> oh, when was it? Bedtime in China. <laughs> I like the idea of it being like a motivation. Like, hey, they're sleeping right now, but we're we're just to starting get to work. Yeah, it's bedtime in China right now, boys. Let's lock in. It's it's not. Yeah, it's, it's it's go time in America. Yeah, yeah, bedtime in China. Or someone just memorizes like a bunch of different time zones, sort of like for every corresponding time here, <laughs> and make everyone like translate it. <laughs> hey. Bedtime in Rio, boys. Hey. Come on, it's when, lunch when in happened? Belarus. Yeah, lunch yeah. in France. <laughs> Let's get uh, to bed. That's right. <laughs> It's a siesta in Madrid. Let's get on there. Come on. <laughs> All right. It is 4.30 in Slovakia. <laughs> Act it, do whatever. Right. I don't know. Do whatever. <laughs> it's a brunch in uh, Springfield, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, that's the same time zone we're in. Pretty much here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, 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 that's pouring water on a duck's back. Duck's back? Yeah, because it seems like it would get the duck wet. That seems smart. Does it not? But it doesn't. Because really? they have good, they have that's their thing. The down feathers, oh. they repel water. Oh, so it's like yeah, on paper that seemed like that would work, but that's like pouring water on a duck's back, dude. That one's like that sounds almost real. Let's get that going. Pour water on a duck's back. Yeah, it's just a waste. It's like Jim in the office when he's like, I thought, I thought a, a group birthday party would be a good idea. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can't do that. It's pouring water on a duck's back. Pouring water on a duck's back. Mm, I like that. Uh, fox in a hen house never gets bored. <laughs> you know he's just gotta be in there he's gonna be busy and he's gonna be up to no good mm -hmm. so it's like hey just cause you're just cause you're somewhere where you're entertained doesn't mean you could be right up to no to good be. hey yeah. Fox ever get bored in the hidden house no oh that's good no, yours are so not. I love yours cause they're so like country you know like <laughs> a lot of animals <laughs> yeah <laughs> like these are some these are things you say around like a diner table you know mine are kind of country like you're reading the newspaper like yep you see that Olivia Rodrigo's at it again. You know, Fox in the hen house never gets bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Got another uh, permission to do another animal one? Please. I love them. <laughs> I tell you what, that's like chasing butterflies with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Sure, a hammer's good for a lot of things. Yep. But not butterfly chasing. Not butterflies. Just the wrong tool. Yeah, also, are you trying to kill the butterfly or are you trying to catch it? I, there was an uh, overpopulation issue. There was. So I was trying to kill him. Stratford. That's wouldn't, right. do, wouldn't do hammer, though. What, did, what does that overpopulation of butterfly do again? Uh, they're basically moths, mm -hmm. just with beautiful feathers. There's beautiful moths. Yeah, just that, beautiful moths. Hey. That's that's one right there. Butterflies are just beautiful moths. <laughs> <laughs> just found another one. Yeah. All right, save this one for last. Uh, this was a bit of a two-parter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in our present day, we're going to get this one started. And it's, you can't recycle garbage. Okay. Because this is, this is kind of like, this is similar to like, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Yes. You know, that was kind of my inspiration for this one. Okay. So I think we let this get in circulation about 40 years or so. Hey, can't recycle garbage. People are starting to use that. Yeah. And then we introduce an elongated one where it's like, rectangles ain't squares and garbage ain't recycling. Okay. And that's the second phony phrase. Yes, very Where good. you just, hey, we agree, like, just because the opposite of something is true doesn't make the inverse also true. Right. Rectangles ain't squares and garbage ain't recycling. That's, I, liked, I like the, yeah, I can't recycle garbage a lot. Because I was trying to think of one last night, actually, with re recycling bins because... It was trash day. Uh, yeah, as passionate <laughs> as I am about recycling, the main reason I recycle is because there's twice as much room for us to put our garbage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But not everything goes in the recycling bin, like you're saying. Garbage is... You can't recycle garbage. You can put recycling items in the garbage. Right. But not can't, you can't recycle garbage. Dang, that's good. There's my funny phrases. It's like you can be a father and a son, but you... Sons can't always be fathers. Yeah, it's like, uh, like Bo's, yeah. the the mother rushes her son to the operating room <laughs> and says, "I can't operate on him. This is my son. How is this possible?" It's something read it like that. The doctor says, "I can't <laughs> yeah, operate yeah. on him." Yeah, it was a female doctor. You sexist. <laughs> That's the answer to the riddle. You guys get it. 
can't recycle garbage. You can't recycle garbage. It's like pouring water on ducks back. That's fun. Funny phrases. I love them. Funny phrases. Let us know your phony phrases. Thanks to the ghosties for helping me out with mine. Phony phrases. Um, fun. Uh, you have a win of the week, you guys? Oh, yeah. I got two. Uh, first one was uh, <clears throat> I got to have breakfast with my family at McLean's today. We that, that might sound pretty normal to have breakfast with your family. Cleaner's coming. Uh, cleaner's coming. We had to get out of the house. But even more than that, Literally all five of us had a meal together for the first time mm. in so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like like Catherine has just been struggling so much, man. And so it's just been like, yeah, just it's just been a rough time. And so it was just sweet to like, I mean, we were kind of rushed at McLean's, but still it was fun to like eat nice, good stuff together. Uh, we had, you know, treated ourselves with coffee. It wasn't as good as Main Street Roasters, of course, but fun times. Um, so that was a sweet time. That's a uh, nice time. We should get Main Street Roasters for lunch. That yes, good. we should. Yeah. Absolutely. We should order in some good ranchers, too. Mm-hmm. And then other one of the week, Samuel Sin pointed it out. Wait, I said Main Street Roasters. I meant... Idiot. Keep going. Sorry. I meant <laughs> McLean's. One, it's one of the same. It's the same thing. To, to McLean Street Roasters. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's where... Starbucks... Or, sorry. <laughs> Main Street Roasters <laughs> West and McLean Street Roasters. Um, <laughs> oh, side note. I saw some ghosties at McLean's the other day. Fun. From Michigan. That were... That one of the girls lives in town, Laura... And then her two friends, Hannah and Elizabeth, were in town from Michigan, and they were like, "We've been listening to you guys for four years. We were hoping that you'd be here." Holy and I was cow. like, "I was like in a corner," and they came and they found me, and they're like, "We were nervous. We didn't want to say hi to you." I was like, "Always say hi." Four years from Michigan, you gotta say. <laughs> you something. gotta say. I I promise I'll never be in unless you can see me like visually in a fight with Catherine. That's the only <laughs> time I do not want you to come up to me. Any other time, it can be like, "Oh, you look stressed with your kids." I'm not that stressed. Not too stressed they're to say fine. hi. Yeah, they're, they're kids. They're not going to remember any of it. Um, <laughs> they don't floss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Baby teeth. You don't got to brush baby teeth. <laughs> you don't. You don't floss baby teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh uh, yeah. Sam, Samuelson pointed out we have a million views on our YouTube channel for good win of the week. Yeah. I loved all the comments. They said, "Let them watch." Let them watch. <laughs> Great comment section. So fun. So. Those are my two wins of the week. Let them watch. Uh, my win of the week is uh, a very famous person to the podcast has moved to Kansas City, which is kind of fun. Old Hawaiian Christine, who Isaac carried yeah. out of the ocean, uh, just moved to Kansas City. She texted me like probably a month ago and just said, hey, I'm moving to Kansas City. Just FYI. So i been so excited for her. She's a really good friend. Known her for over 10 years now since Kanakuk. And yeah, vacation with her. And where's she, where's she coming from? From Dallas. <laughs> I, didn't have the, I didn't have the energy to do it twice. Go yeah. birds. Sick. <laughs> See ya. Coming coming here from Dallas, huh? Yeah. So uh really fun. I love just like I don't know, it's happened a handful of times in our life just we can't see people move, and I love just getting them like plugged in, immediately involved, like when yep. Harrison moved here, or um, even Celia, like, let's go to church, or right. um, new friend Joe, new friend Aaron. I just love meeting new people and showing around Kansas City. So yeah. anyway, Rachel There's and some... Christine have already done uh, one sculpt class together yesterday. They're doing another one together nice. today, my sister's class. So just getting her plugged in, going to church together Sunday. It's going to be awesome. Some K-Life girl Catherine's really excited about is moving back. Cool. What's Cam- her name? Cameron. Cool. Is that her name? You know her? It could be. No, I don't know. I don't know. She was excited about it. Sweet. I was like, I don't even remember this girl. But she's like, she's awesome. You're going to love her. Cool. So she's like, yeah, same idea. She's like, I'm so excited to plug yeah. her into everything. So. I love when people move here. I know. Because it's great. It's the best. Yeah. Time you got to win? Um, I, oh, shoot. I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, was laughing uncontrollably by myself. Which really? Is, which is rare. Yeah. I feel like that only happens with like a friend group or something like that. So, yes. Which it kind of was in a way. So I was like going through some footage of um, stuff we recorded for at Backseat Boys podcast on Instagram. There cool. it is. Well, there you go. Um, Let them watch. And like there was this clip. It was actually something we posted today, um, like a filming of it. And Oliver's like saying his, some of his like stuff he's saying. And his voice is like like shaking a little bit, like for, no, for some reason. Yeah. And like he's like, I don't know why people are going outside. And, and Graydon's just like, yeah, it makes me emotional too. I just, I can't. And like something about the delivery, I was like, just, it was like midnight. I'm like sitting with like AirPods in by myself. And I'm just like almost crying laughing at this. Dude, stuff. I have been there before. You're editing footage and something you either forgot about or yeah. didn't catch the first time. Yeah. Oh, you can laugh so hard by yourself. So, so funny. 
Yeah, that's fun. That's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. Again. I like playing with my ring. Jake's dropping his ring. <laughs> Been really into spinning it lately. Uh, yeah, it's, that's it fun. Is fun to spin them. Fun to spin them. <clears throat> fun. Fun wins. Very fun. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh, um, okay, let's do some... Uh, we just have a few ghost stories this week, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah? sorry. Um, who, who's connected? Oh, do you need... I guess, yeah, sorry, time was connected. Should we, should we do another time? I, I kind of am kind of excited about the quick cues, too. Hey. And the s'mores. And connections. And conne- oh. Ghost stories next week. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> Forget them. They're probably from Dallas anyway. Forget yeah, exactly. A bunch of weirdos from Dallas. Uh, uh, should we connect? Yeah, let's do connections. All right, let's do it. You guys liked this last time. So, uh, yeah, doing the New York Times connections game. And time's getting a little uh, screen I, recording. I learned going. that you can find the archives to Boom. these if you Google them. So you can do them. For hours, if you want to. All right. Read them off, Jake. Club. Windsock. Runway. Beanbag. Turncoat. A lot of uh, compound words. Lawsuit. Maybe that's one of them. Compound words. <laughs> Torch. Foxglove. What the frack is what a foxglove? Fox <laughs> Claim. Terminal. Gumshoe. Complaint. Hanger. Spell like an airplane hanger. Ring. Action. Tarmac. All right. All right. There's some airplane ones. Yeah. Windsock, hangar, tarmac. Maybe terminal. Fox Club. Oh, terminal. Runway. Idiot. Runway. Oh, runway's in there too. So runway, oh, they terminal. do this. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're hurting us here. I think the outside things are windsock, runway, hangar, tarmac. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are all outside things? Yeah. Is that? And, you sure? Yeah. Windsock, we get four. Runway. Guesses. What is it? Hangar and tarmac. Uh, Babushka. Oh, oh. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> one away. It says one away on there. Oh. I don't know oh. if I ever noticed that. One away. Or maybe it's saying like, eh, one of your four. Gone. Oh, that's gone. That's away. One away. <laughs> Dang. Tarmac, hangar, windsock, runway. Well, you know Foxglove is going to be our last one. That's going to be a process of elimination. What in the world is that? There's so many compound words. Foxglove. Tarmac. What's turncoat mean? What is a turncoat? Brad, this seems like something you would know. I don't. I, I know. Tell us. Tell us. I, I wish I did. Windsock, runway. Okay, runway has double meaning. Runway could be like a modeling runway. Yes. Let's think about it that way. Uh, Windsock seems like it's pretty much outside. There to tell you which way the wind's blowing. It's also a barometer of, you know, or like a measuring thing. If there's an instrument like that. Yeah. Claim, baggage claim. Dang, yeah. Runway. A lot of airplane stuff. Too much airplane stuff. Yeah, there's, yeah. Windsock, runway, tarmac, terminal. Let's let's try. Let's take off. I don't know. I, I'm I'm leaning towards taking off windsock and going with terminal. That's what I was thinking. But terminal also terminal also just means like it's final thing, like you know, like the end of something. So, oh, I have these selected. Man, that's the only thing I see though right now. That like this is the. Like, right, I don't you want to try it? Do we option. give it a shuffle? Hey, let's shuffle. Let's shuffle. <coughs> also, what's gumshoe? Maybe the category is words you've never heard of. Your <laughs> words we just made up. Yeah, really. gumshoe, turn cut. Turncoat, foxglove, beanbag, compound words, man. I've heard of I've heard of foxglove. I've heard I don't of know what bean it is. is it like a plant. That's my instinct. That it's some kind of weird plant. Okay. Wait, what is okay. foxglove? I don't know. Really? It sounds like a flower. Gumshoe. The botany. Gumshoe. Maybe. Maybe you're on the right track there. I don't know. S- strange. Gumshoe botany sounds like like there's. To... Sorry for names. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. What? No. Okay. Claim. Action. There are these verbs, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> verbs, claim, kind of, is the category. Claim, action, ring, torch. Club. Club. Are they just one syllable? Wait, are, is nothing else? Those are the four one-syllable words. One syllable. Dare syllable? they? No, claim, no, no there's, no, there's five. five. But claim, no, there's action, four. ring, torch are all... Yeah, claim, ring, club, torch. I don't and, see any other one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Would actually. they do that? Would they? Let's see. Hey, let's just see. We get, out. we get a few guesses. One-syllable words. Show it to us. I don't think they would. Uh, one away, dot dot dot. They're just saying that. They don't mean it. How is it so much? Torch better ring last claim. Action. What? Oh man. Beanbag. Beanbag is very like unilateral. Yeah. What is a beanbag next it's, to? It's in here? lounging. You're lounging at a bean. You're things from the eighties. Things. <clears throat> Turncoat. I wish I just knew what these things meant. <laughs> if we yeah. knew what three of the twelve meant, that would be easier. <laughs> Beanbag. Beanbag. Oh, Beanbag that's kind of like a lawsuit. Is, uh, yeah. Beanbag. Oh, yeah. 
Put a ring on it. Oh man, this is a tough one. We it, might we might need to go to the archives and do a different one. Might just delete this whole thing. Bing bang. <clears throat> Claim my gumshoe from the. Can we try the Can runway. we try the uh, airplane one with runway instead of yeah, windsock? Runway, runway terminal tarmac hangar. Terminal tarmac hangar. That's huge. There we go. Okay, parts of an airport. Okay. Parts of an airport. <clears throat> okay. Claim. Windsock didn't claim, make it. Claim, action, complaint seem like I think claim, lawsuit. Yeah, and lawsuit are together. Mm. Complaint. Action, complaint, lawsuit. Yeah. That, that, that feels good to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless one of these other words we don't know is legal. Nice. Let's go. What a roll. Legal terms. All right. Legal terms. All right. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Uh, Beanbag, turncoat. The turncoat club. Here's what's <laughs> left for those... Paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Gumshoe, beanbag, windsock, torch, turncoat, ring, foxglove, club. What is a what what is a turncoat and a foxglove and a gumshoe? <laughs> um torch. Last time it was like blank something, you know, or blank yeah. torch or torch blank or whatever. Um, yeah. Rachel? Windsock. Come on over, Come Rachel. in here, ASAP. We need you. We need you. <laughs> There's a spider. We need you to kill it. I will not kill it. All right, come on in. <laughs> okay. We're doing connections. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Come, come talk with Jake. Come, come on over here. Get over here. Uh, microphone. Hey, you got the made good. <clears throat> yep, you told me to. All right. Here, you, all can right. Have, you can have the seat. Oh, I get to sit. Sure. All right. Hey, there's that money thing. Bean bag. <laughs> we really need help knowing what three of these words mean. Do you know what gumshoe means? No, but I feel like it's going to be one of them where they're like. The first part of it can mean this, and the second part of it can mean this. Oh, I don't know that. You one. haven't done it enough, probably. Fox glove. Fox. Do you know what that means? No. Glove. Okay, so oh, 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 I know it. Gumshoe, turncoat, fox glove, and windsock, because all of them end, and it's something you can wear. Holy cow! Wow. wow. That, yeah. It's gonna be wrong. It's gonna be wrong. No, no, it's that's, 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 that's too good it. to be not right. Yes! yes yep. Words ending in clothing. <laughs> Words ending wow. in clothing. Okay, so when you only have four left, do you try to figure it out, or is it too tempting just to I try and figure it out. Okay, me too, totally. <laughs> me, <laughs> yeah, I haven't even thought about the other one. Torch <laughs> ring beanbag club. What okay. would that be? That's just a sentence. Torch well, ring hmm. club. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, no, you got it. Do you <laughs> shuffle at the beginning? I shuffle three times at the beginning because I think they put they try and trick you and put two together oh, that you really? would think should be and they're not. You think? Huh. Oh, interesting. Ring, torch, club, beanbag. A ring. Oh, circle. What Thing. is the beanbag? It's just all torch. I was thinking Olympics. Ring. I was thinking sandwiches. Olympics. Types of sandwiches. Club sandwich. Club sandwich. Torch. Torch. Bean, witch. Beanbag sandwich. <laughs> and you can cut them in, into a ring. Beanbag is another word for a burrito. I think. Oh, <laughs> you want a beanbag? <laughs> bean bag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, Chipotle, uh, beanbag or bowl? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a chicken beanbag, please. Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, I love the idea of having having a burrito place that only has beanbags and serves burritos. <laughs> Call it beanbags with a Z. Beanbags. Um, I don't know about that. I one. do not know. Torch obviously has fire. Ring. We could just find out immediately, but it yes, is. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. <laughs> oh, man. Nightclub. Right. But man, this is entertaining. It's sad that we can't get this. What if, Rachel, you look, you and Timon look, Brad and I don't look, and you okay. give us clues? Okay. Okay. So I select them. You guys close your eyes. Guys, eyes closed. I'm going to close my eyes, guys. <laughs> I'm going to look. Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Jake, <laughs> a a job you had mm -hmm. the category has to do with job, has yes. to do with like heavily to do with a job heavily, you had. very heavily. Yeah. Oh, juggling. Yeah, very good. Yes, Jake. Juggling. You are correct. You were yeah. a juggler. Things a juggler juggles. That was on me. I probably should have got that one earlier. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you were juggling a lot of beanbags, weren't you? Yes. That's funny. I only ever pictured a large beanbag you <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Never like sure. a like cornhole thing. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. <clears throat> a Dang. huge beanbag. Nice. Well. Rachel, have you seen the photos, uh, the Photoshop of me and Brad yet? No, I've not. <laughs> your live reaction on the podcast. <laughs> we can find this. You're going to love it, Rachel. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, 
who does that look like? I know it's you. I know it's you. <laughs> but I'm saying with your hair like that, Which you one? looked like someone else. Do you the know gym. Where this is from? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Phyllis is back there. Okay. <laughs> Why does it look so familiar? <laughs> it's like you mixed I've with seen gym. that room like, before. Can it's, you see that? It's my favorite show on my husband, but why does it look so familiar? It even looks like Phyllis in the back. <laughs> wow, Brad with the Michael Scott black hair is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more. Oh, wow. Top good. Yeah. Wow, that actually kind of looks like the guy. You look like you could be a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> Get that Scientology look. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that, that school of rock one? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. How do you do that, Jake Allen? He Was did that, all by hand. No, it's all by hand. It's oh, all, my gosh. So those are your faces. He, he drew it. Yeah. No, wow. it's AI. Oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> <laughs> he's a really good painter. Man, he's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really great. I want to do, do some more connections uh, maybe for Patreon. If we have time after this. Fun. Ooh. Rachel, come back. Because it sounds like okay. Rachel's a savant at this. I did say off the podcast, I think before we started recording, I said I can get Wordle pretty quick, but Rachel is so much better than me at connections. Yeah. She is so much better. Thank you. It is fun. Like when you it's just amazing the 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 power of multiple minds on something. Like so mm. it's like, I don't know. Jake doesn't know. And then Rachel comes in, she's like, I mean it's gumshoe turn cut. Obviously, <laughs> the things at the end are things you wear. And hey, I, that's just my experience showing. Yeah, exactly. I've just seen a lot. <laughs> yeah, we need to be better at like dissecting the words, I feel mm-hmm. like. Well, there, yeah, Catherine and I played and there was one I was like, I don't get this one. You want to see it? And she looked at it she's like, yeah, that one, that one. Like, yeah, you nailed it. Wow. <laughs> so impressive. So, all right. Well, that's fun, you guys. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, thanks for inviting Always me. Always good to see you. Yep. Always great to see you guys too. Thanks, thanks. Hey, good to see you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. That Sometimes. is my wife. Uh, let's do some s'mores. Yeah. One, two. Uh, s'mores. Let's, uh, let's wait on sponsoring Main Street Roasters until during the s'mores, because that's part of my s'mores. Mm. Maybe. Don't steal it. <laughs> um, so who won, time, and Who won last week's s'mores? I know the results are still uh, tight. I believe Jake. Jake I think it's going to be barely me. Let's see. Thank you for the votes, everyone. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 my goodness. It's changed. <laughs> I'm up by 1%. Wow. Wow. I was just giving my acceptance speech. Truly, when we started the podcast, I was at 42 and time was at 39%. It's Brad. Brad's the independent. He's still in votes away from me. A vote for Brad is a yeah, vote for right. Timon right now. Because I was at like what before? How many? I mean, 17%. Like in the, in the teens. Yeah. I just unplugged my headphones. So I'm up and up. Hey, unplug and hang out. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> What's up, guys? Because it, it rhymes so well. <laughs> How was that image of Brad being two inches from the I camera? I caught the tail end of it. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something there. Um, okay, time when you're in the lead, I guess. So you can go first. Oh, man. Or you can choose the order. Oh, yeah, it's true. Oh, true. Um, I'll I was go. make him make one more decision. Time and I, uh, <laughs> I spent so much time late last night figuring out all my, my quick cues and my phony phrases. Just completely ne- neglected the schmores. And I did so it. I did it while we were recording the last episode. <laughs> I did it in between episodes. I was like, oh, I'll just... <laughs> so this is going to be a good list. Um, okay. Uh, I'll t- okay, Jake first, then me, then Brad. Oh, okay. oh and this, the s'mores is ways to save money. Pretty open-ended. I yeah. don't know what you guys have planned. Yeah. Ways to save money. All right. <laughs> so we got Jake, Tim, and Brad. Is that what you said? Yeah. I got something written down. This is a tearing down bridge situation again. <laughs> I just wrote this down an hour ago. What does this mean? Just use it for your first one. We'll just do it verbatim. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. We're going to discard it. Okay. Let's just, let, let me get it out of my system. <laughs> Make your own guests. Guests. Guest. Like a guest to your home. Make your own guests. Make your own. <laughs> Why guess? did I write that? What does that Wasn't mean? Was it a typo? You that seems catch? like you I were, think it's gonna be a typo. That seems like one of those. I am doing this while I'm doing something else, and I got, had something else pop into my head. Uh, make your own granola. <laughs> I think is what that make is. Make your own guess. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> were you doing it on your computer or your phone? Computer. Yeah. All right, that one's discarded. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, so I can't use make your own guess. You can't use make your own guess. Sorry. That's kind of BS. I well, I I get to go first. Okay. All right. Um. First pick, the schmores of ways to save money. We're at, it's called leftover soup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you do is uh, 
you have just a little bit of leftovers here, a little bit of leftovers here. You think, oh, man, that's not really enough for a whole meal. Uh-huh. I guess we'll go out and spend money. Eh. Nope. Leftover soup. Get a little broth, heat it up, throw it in there. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Heat up some water, <laughs> microwave it, whatever. You'll be fine. A little leftover soup. It'll probably yeah. taste good. You make it fun. You make it fun for the kids. A lot of mine are family themed. These are themes for the whole family to get behind. The kids. Guys. Yeah. It's leftover soup night. <laughs> you know how, yeah, kids, you know how you guys struggled to uh, eat any of these foods? Let's all put them all together in a brothy form. And I'm sure you're going to love it now. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you, I go put on a cape because I'm a superhero. <laughs> That's fun. So I put on a, the super, su- I'm Superman. Where do you get your cape? Uh, DIY. Thank you. Yep. That's right. Yeah. There's there leftover you. capes. Leftover it's a different <laughs> business I have. <laughs> all right. <laughs> leftover soup. First pick. That and make your own guest. <laughs> what is make your own guest? Mean? Make your own guest. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna say the McDonald's app. Okay, uh, slash. Uh, can we can we just say restaurant apps? Is that too broad? Okay, restaurant you app. could say that. You could say that. Restaurant apps. Restaurant apps. But yeah. McDonald's app is what I wrote down first, dude. So. Uh, I was talking to my boy Sam Severs the other day. He is a savant on the Taco Bell app. He's like, <laughs> he's like, that would cost you nine seventy five without the app. Cost me six dollars with the app. I was like, dang, that's a pretty good that's savings. Third. Yeah. So apparently Taco Bell app's really good. That's fun. Yeah, just really knowing your way around the restaurant apps. Yeah. Use the Quick Trip app? Yeah. No. I remember Used when it, it first came out, it was giving out a lot of oh, good stuff. Oh, like the uh, 12 days of Christmas thing. Yeah. Something free every day. What do, you, what do they got on there these days? Um, not that much. No? 50 cent small copy, though, which is what I got. Okay. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have it right there, don't you? I do. I see you didn't eat all your granola balls that I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> by the end. By the end. Hey, saving them. Saving them. Saving money. That's right. Yeah, just... Uh, Taking snacks and drinks from your podcast co-host. So. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, um, you guys, you guys are going a little goofier than, and I goofy, but just I just put normal things down. I said, uh, cooking at home. Mm. Don't don't go out to a restaurant. Just cook at home. Yeah, I have that written down. Left, I, slash I leftover soup. I didn't like writing it, but I did write it down. <laughs> Why didn't you like writing it? I it's, just it's too basic. No, it's just like you just didn't want to do it. Going out to eat is just like. The best. Awesome. It's the best. <laughs> like, there is nothing like it. Like dude. food at home is is better, but it, I mean like money wise, but it, I I love getting food places. My Tommy, gosh. do you want to get lunch today at Main Street Roasters? Dang it, I keep saying that. <laughs> that was you didn't I, do it on purpose. I promise. I promise <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I even paused. It probably sounded like I did that per- I promise I didn't. Uh, at McLean's. Mm-hmm. Sure. No pressure. Could be fun. I get some work done there too. Could be fun. Hey. 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 Sounds fun to me. Going out to eat. <laughs> I, so I, I love it. Um, <laughs> all right, next one. Tweak the thermostat. Tweak. Mm. It's amazing. It just don't. You and th- my dad would get along nicely. <laughs> <laughs> You're hot. Open up a window. You know. You're cold. Uh, uh, take off. Turn your up the shirt. heat. <laughs> 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 you say cold. Take yeah, off your wait, shirt. Wait, wait. You're cold. Go get a cold shower then. You're cool cold. Off. Yeah, yeah. You you don't know what cold is yet. Take off You're, your shirt. Get out of that blanket. Go outside. It's probably not cold. <laughs> no, just the other night it was. I mean, we were just having like these fluctuations of heat and not. And all of a sudden, it went from like 65 in our house to 75, and I was like, "Golly, it's hot in here." Turn on the AC in February. It was wild. So wow, didn't save money. But if I wanted to, I could just kept it going and. Open up some windows. Wait, when you say tweak the thermostat, I think of chain, going on a thermostat and changing the temperature. You mean like... Yeah, tweak, you mean don't tweak don't the tweak. temperature. I think, that's, I think what I'm getting is like, don't necessarily change it. Just like change yeah. something else. Change your environment. Own the thermostat. Don't let the thermostat own you. Wow. Right? I so. rent my thermostat <laughs> to avoid being owned by it. Good. Yeah, yeah. it makes more sense <laughs> if you don't touch it that often, just to rent. Tweak the thermostat. Rachel and I still haven't turned on the AC. Does not surprise we me. We love the you heat. You guys are so, yeah. Love that heat. <laughs> what do you think it is right now? 74. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I have uh, not going into debt. <laughs> so you <laughs> <We> could. <laughs> Just by definition, ways to save money. Yeah. Uh, have more. <laughs> yeah. Make money. That's funny. Okay. Tyvin, care to elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, just probably <laughs> save money that way. If you don't. Uh, spend Here, yeah. money that you don't own. So that's right. That's right. Okay. And the McDonald's app. Yeah. <laughs> All those things. All right, Jake. I got distracted. Next, we should. I know we've looked at time and searchers before. Let, let's look at time and bookmarks here in a little bit. <laughs> let's, let's talk about bookmarks. <laughs> okay. I'm curious about a couple. Um, 
Next, I, uh, you know, if you're in a really bad spot financially, maybe you would get to this position. I don't think I could ever do this and sleep well at night. This is called going to a Mexican restaurant. They serve you chips and queso. They say, what can I get started for you guys? You say, I'll take a couple waters. You eat your chips and queso and you leave. Oh, chips and salsa. What did I say? Queso. Bad of me. Make your own guests. Make your own <laughs> queso. So what are we? <laughs> That's probably what it was. Make queso. your own queso. There's a U in there, second letter. Um, get in a- dine and dash chips and salsa. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted by you thinking there's only one letter that's the same between queso and queso. Yeah, those are pretty, <laughs> fairly similar. Yeah, the U is in there. U, there's also an E as uh, dine and dash. Yeah, okay. chips and queso, dine and dash. Chips and queso. Chips and salsa. <laughs> Dang it. Thumbs up. Nature today. roasters. <laughs> Nature roasters. Uh, yeah, that's a way to save money. Okay. You get a nice little appetizer for free, I think. I mean, you probably can't do it more than once, but you could do it once. Yeah, what would they think if, like... Oh, we're good. Thanks. Yeah. Right out. Fine. All right. You got no? Next. Okay. I already said leftover soups. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do uh, DIY spa day. Okay. Just because you're not swimming in Benjamins doesn't mean you don't deserve to treat yourself from time mm. to time. So, hey, you got vegetables. Cut up your own little cucumbers. Throw them in the freezer, fridge. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I've never done my own DIY. And then you put your own cucumbers on your eyes. Okay. That'd be fun. Once again, get the whole family involved. Yes. We're doing massage trains. <laughs> We're having the kids be employees and help, you know, massage mom. Sure. Paint her fingernails, paint her toenails. Mom gets treated. It's DIY spa day. That's fun. Like and tonight, that. leftover soup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mom's got cucumbers on her eyes, so she can't see, and then she just <laughs> hears dad come out of the, out of the bedroom. <laughs> Who's ready to get super tonight? <laughs> He's got his cape on. Oh, and by the way, don't toss those cucumbers. I need them for the soup. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I used all of them. They'll on be you. fine. The, the water's boiling, so it'll get off the dunk from your eyes. <laughs> um, okay. Timon, I'm sure you had those things on your list, but go Sorry ahead. Sorry if I yeah, took them. my bad. Um, okay. Get stuff on eBay. Mm. Get stuff on eBay. Secondhand. Yeah. There's some stuff that's just fine used and way cheaper. That's a good word. Okay. Mine, mine aren't that fun. What's the last thing you <laughs> bought off eBay? Can you remember? Or bought secondhand? Uh, a vintage camera lens. Ooh. Like fun. $60. There's like old, uh, like the, the bokeh look, the, the blurry background looks like nice and swirly. Hey, shooting with the cap on though. Ah, uh, darn. Maybe. Do, does anybody on eBay these days actually bid or is it always buy it now? I always filter to just buy it now. Oh, really? I don't want to, like, yeah, like, I don't want to wait to bid. And also, I feel like it'll just like, shoot up, like, to a really high price. If you're Gen Z, why wait on anything? <laughs> just get it over with. Just, just, I'm done with this. I want it. I get Oh, that I got part. lectured by my dad, like, uh, trying to, like, I wanted, like, a black binder for, like, something, some school thing. Huh? Went to yeah, Amazon. Yeah. I was like, I'll just get it on Amazon. Uh-huh. Like, get, it'll get here tomorrow. Yeah. And he's like... Oh, no, I just, sometime when I'm in town, I'll just, like, go to a store and get it. I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> this is what Amazon specializes in, is, like, getting things to, like, this random thing you need, like, fast. And you know exactly what you're getting. Exactly. Right? Like, you're not going to the store. I can look through so many options, <laughs> find the cheapest and fastest one. And he's like, but, but that, he, I think he was just like, but then they're just making, like, this extra trip right out of the way on their route. Like, they're, they're like, they have to come to our house, like, out of the way of their yeah. already established. I'm like. This is what they advertise. It's tough, yeah. <laughs> but also... I kind of see both sides. They're going to But I think he was like... I think my sister got in it too, like Anna. She's like, Amazon is the biggest company. You're not costing them... I mean, it's like... I don't know. Because he was kind of like, well, there's a, like small businesses. Like, they don't... He's, he's thinking like maybe like a $5 expense. He's like, for... And I kind of I see his point. Like, yeah, they're, it's they're going so out of the way yeah. for this thing. They're not making money. Probably. It, yeah, if Amazon did yeah that a million times, if everyone ordered only a exactly. binder, yeah. they would have to charge way more for everything. But I'm just thinking, this this huge company, <clears throat> that can't be a big deal. He's like, don't order on Amazon. I'll go to Walmart and buy it. Yeah, ex- <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he was saying. I'm like, that's not better, though, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, that's a tough, it's interesting. But yeah. Quick fun fact, Anna Imsch always comes up to me on Facebook as a suggested friend. It's like, Anna Imsch? Ad friend. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. Always. Always an option. Funny. It's her like laying down in a field. Very familiar with her profile picture. Whoa. Smelling horses. That's an old, kind of old picture. I took that picture. Wow. Boca? Yeah. yeah I was going to say, old school lens. <laughs> Boca? All right, guys. My last two. 
Um, I'm going to say drinking water. You go to a restaurant or anywhere, drink water. Water, please. What would you like to drink? A beer for $17? No, thanks. I'll have a water. <laughs> also, when you drink water, you're more full, so you don't eat as much. Mm. Save money that way. Also, you can also argue that with like soda or something, too. You drink a lot of soda. Appetite suppressant. Is it? Oh, yeah. Caffeine is. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. You I, ever had coffee and then, like, like, I don't need to eat for yeah, hours? Yeah, yeah, coffee I have. A lot of people yeah. have, like, coffee, like, for their breakfast, mm-hmm. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Um, but water's free. Hey, hey, sorry, not my pick. Also, my pick. water, <laughs> you drink water, you're healthier, therefore, you're saving money on medical bills. Good word. Mm. Also, water, uh, you, you have better, you, you have better phlegm because of water, so you don't get sick as much. So then, therefore, you're able to work more. Also, make more money. where do people get baptized? Water. Yeah. Probably the final point. So, <laughs> and how much money can you save when you get baptized? Plenty, ninety um, <laughs> percent. So, uh, drinking water, and then my last one. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm in between a few here. Um, I'm gonna say get your coffee at home from Main Street Roasters. Brew your coffee at home. Don't go oh, okay. to Main Street Roasters East, West, wherever here in Kansas City. We don't have our own specific branch. So I go to MainStreetRoasters.com. I go click, click, click. Dun, dun, dun. I use like promo code GRKC, 10% off. 90% full price. It's just, I mean, I probably save on average $50 a month from eat, drinking my coffee at home versus going somewhere for it. Whew. That, my friend, is sipping up some savings. <laughs> that, my friend, is drinking down some dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Brew your coffee at home from Nature Roasters. Your turn, your turn, your turn. That, my friend, is um, uh, brewing... Some bucks back into your wallet. Hey, that's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, really? <laughs> that, my friends, is nailing, tamping. There we go. There's tamping down some treasury notes. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Got it. That, my friends, is slurping down some um, cents. Stocks. Oh, cents. Slurping down know. some cents. Good. You win. Brewing coffee for me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pudding. Timon, you got one more. Uh, I think I have two more, right? Wait, no, I have. No, oh, no, Timon. No. Timon, Timon, Timon. Never did a fancy draft. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll say getting a bunch of microwave popcorn, like a bulk box. Getting of it. a. Bunch Just a of whole it. bunch. <laughs> Why microwave popcorn? Because Out of all the- <laughs> it's so filling. Oh, <laughs> because buying your corn and bulk. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> because. <laughs> it it's it's 11 p.m. Okay, I'm hungry. It's for, it's hey it's uh, it's uh why not just drink some it, coffee? It's breakfast in China. It's breakfast yeah. in China right now. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a little hungry for like a nice midnight snack. Okay, and wait, what time is it? A uh, l- nice 11 p.m. Okay, snack. Okay, okay. It's, so nice. it's common saying. It's more of like a j- no. Oh. <laughs> That's a good phony phrase. Midnight snacks aren't always. Hey, oh. at 12. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's midnight snack o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, just that's a good thing to eat. And it probably saves <laughs> money when you buy it in bulk. I yeah. love not. That's true. I love not. It's true. <laughs> I love not saying just like buy buy things in bulk. Like that's too. <laughs> no, I'm take no, one no, 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 no. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. I, I wrote down popcorn. what time and literally said getting a bunch of microwave popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing you save on buying in bulk, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't think anything else is cheaper in bulk. Costco takes a loss at almost everything except for the microwave popcorn <laughs> microwave section. Popcorn. That's where they, yeah. <laughs> Vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. I had it backwards. Whatever. <laughs> You're struggling. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> New bubbler flavor today. Uh-huh. Next, this one's fun for the whole family, just like all of them. It's, car- it's called Garden Gold Rush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Need I say more? And no, gold, we all get it. The gold is buttery popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> and his <laughs> neighbor Timon has sprinkled popcorn amongst the vegetables. What do we got Get here? what you can. This is just making a game, making a... Uh, I imagine I've got... Really, I imagine I'm raising your kids. I love and it. they're homeschooled. <laughs> and they're going to get a little history lesson. And also, <laughs> we're going to make them their own gardeners. And they yeah. get really excited to garden themselves okay and then it's a competition we're gonna do garden gold rush we're gonna go and collect and we're gonna ride these fake horses over <laughs> and try and collect the gold which is a cucumber for oh guess what diy spa day <laughs> it all connects <laughs> how is that saving money just because the cucumbers you're not buying them you're gardening. yeah basically you're you're 
it's basically start a garden, okay. but it's for the whole family. <laughs> garden gold so rush it's, just uh, sounds uh, yeah, garden gold rush. So yeah, <laughs> grow your own vegetables rather than buying them. I'm so impressed that like, not only did you do this while we were recording last episode, <laughs> you you came up with some ridiculous idea. <laughs> was, it wasn't just like, like mine were like coupons. Uh, buying off brand. Well, don't get me wrong. I had c- coupons on here, and yeah. I chose uh, that one's not good. Uh, <laughs> there's no theme to it. Yeah. <laughs> there has to be a theme. Yeah. Once I started with Watt, I was like, "Well, I'll just keep this going." Oh man, this this s'mores. People are gonna be like, "I don't know which one to vote for." They're all so good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Jake said leftover soup, dine and dash chips and salsa. Fun for the whole family to yep. dine and dash. DIY spa day, garden gold rush. <laughs> uh, Tyvin said restaurant apps. <laughs> not going into debt. Yep. Getting stuff on eBay and getting a bunch of microwave popcorn. Brad said cooking at home, tweaking the thermostat, drinking water, brewing coffee from Main Street Roasters. Uh, other ones you guys had? Honorable Minch? Honorable Imch? I had Make Your Own Guests. Yeah, I, I had that one too. <laughs> and that was it. What about walking places? Oh, just walk. as opposed to jumping or skipping. Let them walk. Yeah. <laughs> Coupons. Yeah. Off I- brands. I had not going into a gas station. Oh, that's good. I should have had that one on my list. <laughs> but or on my like main Which one picks. would you sub it out for? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> They're they all so good. Pretty great. Uh, that's but, a great call. Dude, if I go into a gas station, I got to get two things. I yeah. I talked to Catherine the other day. I was like I th- thinking this was like I'm so proud of myself. I was like I got gas the other day and I didn't buy anything from Quick Trip. She's like I never buy anything for Quick Trip. Well, you still got gas. I was right? like, I was like, yeah, but you don't understand. I was at Quick Trip and I just didn't go inside. There's certain things in life when you don't do something, you feel like you deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> I remember going to a concert, and this is like 2015, and I didn't Snapchat it, I didn't record any of it. I just sat no there footage. and looked at it, and I was like, I give me a medal, give me a Time Man of the Year. I just consumed it with my eyes. I just watched. Yeah, just let myself watch. That's good. Yeah, time. that should have really been on my actual list because but yeah because it's like you're getting gas there's no reason actually unless you need something yeah um i have two that mean the same thing but they're brad used this i said making your own meals and i said not going out to eat so it's Similar. kind of the same thing Ipso um, facto. good ranchers uh and then buy stuff buy off-brand stuff yeah bulk or no uh just popcorn <laughs> <laughs> no, the popcorn is what you're buying bulk everything else is off-brand i'm a fan of like anything you need Anything you know you're going to need eventually, paper towels, toilet paper, buy them in bulk. Yeah. Yeah. Get them as cheap as possible. Store them up. You got you got attics if you need to. Like, there's plenty of storage in your house that you're not using. Toilet paper is one thing you should buy a good brand of. I, I was going to say, there's true. certain things that I want the high quality, but I think with clothing, you could definitely find, like, off-brand alternatives. Mm. There's so much markup in Amazon clothing. Amazon dupes is what the ladies call them. Dupes. Um, what about... Uh, Pickleball paddles? Yeah. You don't need to be spending hundreds of dollars on a pickleball paddle. Because they, yeah, they make them basically in all the same three places in America, or in, in the China. Yeah. Yeah. It's pickleball paddle time in China. Um, <laughs> it's 002 in China. How about uh, thrift stores? Promo code generators? Uh, renting from the library? I have not had a lot of luck in the last six years using those, like, Retail me not, oh, no. or honey, or you know those kind of like promo code things for you. Yeah, I'm a Capital One guy these days. Really, I didn't know in any way you were affiliated with Capital One. I'm a Capital One shopping. Save now, Jake. In an episode I just listened to, you guessed a promo code for something. That's fun. fun. I think it was like some you, you like guessed fresh twenty, and like it just <laughs> was the thing. Give me the time man of the year. I'm doing this stuff left and right. That's another <laughs> example. It's like when you feel like man, I'm just the best. And then this one's this one's for the uh, millennials in the house. LimeWire slash BitTorrent. <laughs> what about it? Saving money. Yeah. Oh, just like download music. Yeah, you don't, you don't buy CDs. You, you go to LimeWire. When I first started trying to think of this, I was trying to think of like ways to cut back, cut cords, whatever. It's like, don't, you don't need Spotify Premium. You don't need Netflix. And I was like, I don't have a Spotify Premium. No, <laughs> not being able to select your own music. Spotify Premium is a bummer. Uh, or not, not having that's a bummer. Yeah, you want to be able to select your own music. So. Really just uh, suck, on, suck on the teat of your parents. Metaphorically. <laughs> Netflix, well, Spotify Premium. Well, or I mean, hey, just get her, nourished. Hey, honestly, life hack: La- leftover soup. Do it longer than <laughs> than they tell you to. Yeah, I mean, save money. Honestly, yeah. As long as it keeps producing, uh huh. You keep feeding. Yeah. What? What? Or vice versa. It keeps sucking. You keep producing. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny, but how does it work typically Ooh. with the creation of breast milk? Is it like once you stop? regularly feeding a baby, then you will stop... Like, is it chicken or the egg? Which stops first? Uh, Yes. The 
when the when the baby stops feeding, then it'll stop producing. Yes, yes. You like wean them off, and then correct. And then what happens is but like sometimes sometimes moldy. Women, oh, I don't know. I don't know. We don't. I don't know. I, I think there is <laughs> like a little go? bit of like a like a weaning off, like even like your. I don't. I don't remember exactly how intermittent. Works. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I don't know if they have to like pump a little bit. You know, I don't remember. I can't remember that. But um, can't wait. Yo, know, it's so fun, dude. It's so fun to watch. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no uh, what was I gonna say? Sorry, it's getting weird here. Um, what were we gonna say about that? Just oh, Make some, your own some women, some women have a hard time producing though. So sometimes it is a little egg chicken version. Like sometimes it's like the the baby wants it, but the mom's having a hard time. So that's a big thing. Don't feel guilty, mama. Hey, you not your mama. fault, mama. Formula's okay if you have to, mama. A lot of mamas go through this. That's right, mama. So yeah. you're you're still a rock star, mama. Yeah, like I think Catherine, like I feel like, yeah, with most of our kids, like near the end of the first year, she was not producing as much as the baby wanted or something. Like I don't blame a year of that. I'd get sick. <laughs> no. It's oh, amazing. Every day. Oh yeah. It's oh. wild, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, then there's some kids that are like old enough to talk that are just like Mom, can I have some milk, please? Saving money. <laughs> they right. make their own guess. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is wild. Yeah, the talking should be when, but way before then, should oh, it yeah. be stopped. Who's somebody has if a they joke? Can communicate about it. Yeah, that's... it's like once they start ordering it a certain way. Oh, I think that's man. Theo Vaughn has that joke. He's like, <laughs> "When's a good time?" He's like, "I think once they start ordering it a certain yeah. way, they like or something like that." When you have really preferences, on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, All right. that's been Mama's. <laughs> It's been mamas. It's been mamas. What do we got next? Let's uh, unless you have any other just things in your notes, let's end it off with a little quick, quick cues. One, two, okay. Just real quick, fun thing that I think you would appreciate in my notes. Getting to the Kansas City Airport, it is six a.m. probably Friday morning. It's so early. Midnight and snack time. <laughs> Midnight snack. Hey, it's dinner in China. <laughs> <clears throat> and a kid, a little boy, is walking next to me in the airport, and He's just got YouTube blaring full volume out of his phone. This boy's like probably six years old, and that's how he's listening to music. And what song is he playing at 6 a.m.? Hot in Here by Nelly. <laughs> and for some reason, I was like, I think Brad would just love this. <laughs> this little boy is just blaring Hot in Here at 6 a.m. out of no headphones. <laughs> I, I have mixed feelings on it because I don't know if a little kid should be listening to that song. No, it wasn't great for the kid, but I was like, that's kind <laughs> of interesting. But man, do I, I think I like Nelly more than the average person. I know you like Nelly. Oh, man. Like I think I think he's like Mount Rushmore for me. Like I love You I mean, want we would like to see him on the his, <laughs> his band aid and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um that's fun though. I like I like the image of that. A little yeah. bit of uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I got excited because I thought it was the weird Al version. I was like, oh cool. Oh, dang. oh I don't know that one. What's what's Weird Al say? Uh so rotten. Uh, so rotten here. Nice. <sighs> <laughs> that's great okay so uh i don't think i have anything else in my notes here so let's do some quick cues um, tell them about this brad basically it's just uh what how should we do 60 seconds or 90 seconds 60 60 seconds uh we're just gonna pepper each other with questions and the idea is just don't think too hard on the answer just answer it time in. all right do you understand okay because I think you're going to be the one I'm worried about. Just yeah, that's fair. Oh, uh, but fair. I don't know. Was oh, I I but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, so we're just gonna maybe maybe even I don't know. I was gonna say we could put some music on the background. We don't need to do that next time. Next time, next Nelly. Time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna go back and forth. Who should we start? Who wants to? Who wants to be? I'll the answer first? first, guys. Okay. Laptop shut. I'm, in my in my head, when I was making these questions, I was imagining uh, like Family Feud final fast money round, where it's just like it's time for fast possible. money. Um, How's the song go? Thanks. Who's your best Family Feud host? Uh oh, Steve Harvey. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the old guy was creepy. He'd kiss a lot of women on the mouths. Richard Dawson. And young girls. What about uh, Louie? Remember Louie? Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, no, Steve Harvey. Yeah, Steve Harvey. Yeah, he's awesome. great. All right, so Timon, you ready with me? I don't know if I have enough questions, but... Well, okay, I'll do, I'll do something you throw in every once in a while. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you, you do the timer then. Okay. Timon, Timon. I'm going to do it on like Fast Money where they kind of just like look down. Yes, definitely. <clears throat> okay, let me get my timer set up. Do you think if I did like a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire theme in my phone... 
yeah. on here yeah. that would do be copyright stricken? Oh, oh, I see what you're asking. Dun, 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 I think so. Time I, I, I think, think. if it's there. You think so? Yeah. I wouldn't not, risk not, it. not worth the risk. Okay. Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock. And we'll start after I we'll start after I uh, ask the first question. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Classic. All right. What is your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Forrest Gump. Would you rather wear only pants or only shorts? Only pants. What's the best invention ever? The the water purifier. Is Bigfoot real or fake? <laughs> fake. Will teleportation <laughs> ever be possible? No. Fire or ice? Fire. How much over the speed limit do you drive on the highway? Six. What is the best shape? Circle. What is the worst fast food restaurant? Captain D's. Will time travel ever be possible? No. <laughs> Get out of here, Bigfoot. Time teleport. Rock or rap? <laughs> rap. I was thinking the rock. <laughs> Name a funny word. Zoinks. Something you'll never eat. Oh, raw sushi fish crap. What is an alternative name for bottom? Bumper. Spell rhythm. Oh, R. <sighs> Where's the H? Time is ticking. R Y T H Y eight. Whoa, T H Y M. What's scarier, spiders or mice? Mice, kinda. Time's Golf up. or pickleball? Dang it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, nice. Never know. Yeah. Okay. I had more questions than that, so <laughs> I think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to go next time, or you want uh, Jake to go, or me to go? I can go next. Okay. This is gonna All be right. a, a big challenge for me. Like, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, every other bread. Oh, uh, do I start timer? Oh, I'll do it. Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna do like two minutes on timer. No. guys, no. this 60 seconds takes a lot longer than you think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, whoops. Oh boy. Stop. Reset. All right, Jake, you start. Okay. A talent you wish you had. Uh, <laughs> insane flips on trampoline. Insane. <laughs> what is your shoe size? A ten. Prefer to draw or paint. Draw. Who is your first crush? Ah. Uh. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, girl from my church, probably. What's her name? Favorite board game. <laughs> uh, but Candyland. It's not my favorite board what? game. Chicken for some drone? Yes. Do you like roller coasters? Yes, love them. What's your favorite moon phase? Uh, waning <laughs> gibbous. <laughs> uh, do you like spicy food? Yes. Kinda. African or European? <laughs> European, please. Do, what's your favorite type of clothing? Uh, pants. Who's your favorite teacher? My mom. Have you ever been on the TV or radio? No. Uh, what's your least favorite month? January. Do you have any plants? No. Smooth or chunky? <laughs> Smooth. Favorite subject in school? Uh, the end. How long do you microwave popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> two minutes and two and a half minutes. In bulk. Do you like camping? N no. Would you be able to cr climb a tree right now? Yes. Uh, what's your favorite snack? Uh, popcorn. <laughs> Garden gnomes, yay or nay? <laughs> nay. Nay, 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 nay. Favorite holiday? Uh, it's 4th of July. What's a word that sounds pretty? Uh, beautiful. Are you a morning or night person? Night. Jake or Brad? Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, time, time, time. time. <laughs> That was what I had a few that were submitted by ghosties in there. That's and, fun. And uh, that was one of them. I was like, that's pretty funny to ask Tyler and Jake or Brad. <laughs> <clears throat> How is it, guys? I'm, is, it, is it hard? Is it fun? I don't Not know. Not too hard. Not too hard? I said water purifier, so that, that one was hard. That's the thing. I haven't even really been listening to your answers. I said <laughs> Candyland. <laughs> that was the first, just, I couldn't think of a single board game other than that. Still can't. <laughs> um, still stuck still, up candy uh, land. Risk. For I the hate, record, I, I wasn't risk. planning on asking you first crush. It wasn't like a, I gotta ask time in this. <laughs> uh -huh. But it was pretty great. I was like, oh, it's like three down from. <laughs> so, all right, all right. <clears throat> time in. You want to time us? Sure. All right. Um, I'm close my eyes. You want to start? Sure. Okay. Start. All right. Do you prefer movies at home or in the theater? In the theater. Do you prefer it really hot out, or really cold out? Really hot out. Uh. Do you, so what's your favorite type of music? Folk rock. Do you brush your teeth for two full minutes? No. Indoor or outdoor activities? Outdoor. Should I grow my hair out? Yes. What's your favorite type of movie genre? Comedy. What's your favorite Instagram account that creates satire podcast clips? B Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. <laughs> what's your favorite social media platform? Uh, Instagram. Trump or Biden? <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Do you prefer to read fiction or nonfiction? Uh, neither. What's the last song you listened to? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
Sunday best. Okay. What's your lucky number? Six. Is it weird for kids to kiss their parents on the lips? No. <laughs> Any phobias? Um, deer. <laughs> uh, nice. Would you rather not have a dishwasher or have to sit on the floor to eat your meals? Not have a dishwasher. <laughs> favorite childhood TV show? Saved by the Bell. I'm out. Which favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. Time's up. Wow. Time, I, I put you on like 126, by the way. Okay. Time-wise. <laughs> <laughs> You're more like 90 seconds. Oh, that's fun. Quick, I had fun. Quick cues. Yeah. Quick cues. That's kind of fun. Just a quick, quick, just a quick way to get to know someone. I didn't know your lucky number was six. Yeah, I know. Then I've realized it's the devil's number. Kind of made it uh, But you know what? I'm reclaiming. I think the devil's worried about much bigger things than his favorite number. Yeah, than you like know? Brad Ellis as a 10-year-old baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brad, what number you want to be buried false? Six? No! Mm. Shoot, that's the devil's okay. number. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh... My dad's like, you sure, bud? <laughs> You're about that, bud? Mm-hmm. Tyman, what'd you say about spicy food? Uh, yes. Surprised me too. I, I think, think. I would have said to a to a certain point. Oh, should we do a quick use with Rachel? Yeah. Did, did she just leave or she come back? Hey, hey, Buster. What? What? You want to come in? Sure. The studio. Sure. Tyman could Tyman could climb a tree right now. Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. I'll do it for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for Patreon. I don't care. Uh, we're doing a segment called Quick Cues where we take 60 seconds and we just pepper people with questions. Would you like to answer some questions? I'll pepper. Pepper. You want to snag Tyman's mic? We're gonna, okay. You're going to answer the questions. Ooh. So just sit over here. What, what's happening? How do I snag? Just uh, right you can go. kneel. You can lounge. Okay. Stand. She's, going, she's kneeling, guys. Kneeling, she's kneeling. I'm kneeling. Ooh, Ooh, good for her. Nice green. Trump or Biden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 60 seconds. 60 seconds? 60 seconds. I've had trouble talking today. <laughs> So I'm kind of, I'm kind of. <laughs> Please don't. He's a little sensitive about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's uh, kind of nice. I can't see Brad's face, but I uh, can see Brad's face. Oh yeah. On the monitor. Oh, Green. interesting. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> Timon, right. Timon. Oh, sorry. Hey, not you, Jill. It's just your name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sixty seconds. Okay. Peppering. Is it coming from both of you? Oh yeah. Pepper. Okay. Pepper. Pepper. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Little salt. Little pepper. Have you ever? Or would you rather skydive or bungee jump? Skydive. Milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Dark. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Smooth or chunky? Smooth. A book you'd recommend to anyone? Oh, the things you, you cannot say? What color is Thursday in your head? Oh, orange slash tan. <laughs> orange for me too. Do you, uh, beaches or mountains? Beaches. Jam or jelly? Jam. A movie that made you cry? Oh, gosh, up at the beginning. Sure. F- favorite color combo? Oh, I, would, I love mint and lilac. Do you collect anything? A bunch of junk. <laughs> Favorite wood species. Favorite what? Wood species. Oak. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what oak, I said. Oak. <laughs> Dream travel destination. Oh, Portugal. <laughs> Favorite dude perfect member. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Jimbo. Uh, a favorite nickname you've ever had? Bowie. Branson or Vegas? Branson. Favorite type of weather? Summer hot. Would you rather be named Gloop or Flunk? <laughs> Gloop. A I'm skill. So, so. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Oak. 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 I thought so she was funny. like, like, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, oh, oak. No, just oak. oak. I was really, I had a lot of thoughts before I said that, and it was 0.1 seconds. I was trying to think what my dad's favorite is, and I have no idea. <laughs> Your dad's favorite is probably oak. What are the red ones? Red, there's red oak, and there's also white oak. Okay. Are you saying redwood, like, like the trees? trees. I don't know. I don't know what technically like, that might be redwood. Tr- I'm not sure. When me and your dad went driving to go put out that fire last weekend, he was telling me all about uh, certain kind of oaks are in this tree oh, that are like protected. Sure. I can't remember the whole story now, but yeah. Wait, let's talk yeah. about putting out a fire. Oh yeah, uh, Rachel could maybe speak more about this. I think it's somewhat common uh, to burn CRP. CRP, okay. if you remember, is the type of farmer I wanted to become, where it's yep. the government pays you not to farm your land. You just burn your fields. And so you burn your fields to keep it healthy in some way. Yeah. Nitrogen's probably involved. Gotcha. Anyway, what we looked like we saw, it was like black smoke. It was not the typical smoke that crops should be burning out. And so we were like, let's go look into this. Oh, okay. Looked into it. We were ready to put out a fire. They had under, under control. What, what, is, what does he bring with him when he's ready to put out a fire? <laughs> yeah, like what does he have? Like what's his? What's we're just gonna smother it? Yeah, <laughs> just a big old blanket. Just yeah, just drop, <laughs> stop, drop, and roll all over the uh, multiple acre field. 
Seriously, though. We didn't bring anything. We just went to go check on it. Investigating. Yeah, oh. yeah. We were like, let's go see if this is actually a problem. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Fun. Thanks, Rachel, for okay. answering. Where do you guys get those questions? Uh, I got some of mine from the ghosties oh. on Instagram Live. Uh, it's a new feature they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm live. Honestly, just a lot. Of, most of them just off the dome. Wow. Uh, oh, fun. Rachel and I went live while running our mile. Oh, okay. I think I probably won't do that anymore. It was hard <laughs> to keep the camera steady, and I'm just breathing hard, and I can't read any of the comments. Yeah. See, I tried to hold it steady while I was holding it, like hold my arm steady, and it, my arm got so tired. Yeah. Awful. Now we know. You're not, you're not meant to run with your arm in one place. No. Yeah. <laughs> I got my font small. It's just hard to read. Yeah. I, I know. Learned. Sometimes it's like, can you still go live even if you don't interact? You know, like, they just let them watch you. Truly, you and Rachel talk. Just let them watch. Yeah, I don't even communicate back. <laughs> anyway, well, fun sewed. Nice. Hey, yeah, thanks, Rachel, for participating. Yeah. See you later. That was fun. Very fun. That was a fun little time. Um, <clears throat> I think Brad, you still need to share with us your comment of the week. Yes, uh, mine's a long one here, so buckle in, Timon. Get Place your time. get your school bus and buckle in. <laughs> uh, Cameron Michalak. Oh, hey, Jake, Brad, and Timon. Cameron here. It's been great to listen to the pod and hear about your lives. I became a ghosty from a combo of jean shorts and a friend telling me about the Ghost Runners pod, and I thought this would be a good time to leave a review. He left a review on the YouTube, um, YouTubes. So yesterday, March 2nd, my girlfriend surprised me with tickets to see Trey Kennedy grow up tour in Reading, Pennsylvania. And I got to see Jake perform, which was great. Um, uh, for starters, walking to the place, I followed a group of Mennonite women into the arena. Didn't know that was Trey's audience. Thanks for saying arena. <laughs> it was not. Oh, no. Uh, I then walked in and saw Isaac stuck at the merch table. Also stuck. Fun way to say, <laughs> stuck there. Just planted there. Cornered. It's cool to meet someone featured on the pod from your friend circle. Honestly, Isaac was such a cool guy, and it was nice talking to him about Friday Pickleball in life. The comedy special was great. The opener, Lucas, was solid. Jake was hilarious, and Trey did not disappoint. During the performances, I sat in a row with roughly 25 people. Of the 25 people, 22 were white moms, and then it was my girlfriend and me. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're moms. Like those, those women are definitely moms. Uh, but the one person, but one other person was a 50-year-old white man who came by himself. He sat through Lucas and Jake, but left halfway through Trey, leaving behind multiple cans of Miller Lite. <laughs> Interestingly, he did not laugh one singular time all night. Is this normal? <laughs> I would look over here and there, but not even a smirk of enjoyment. Psycho behavior? After the show, I had the pleasure of briefly meeting you, Jake, with some friends from church. Fun stuff. I live south of Reading, so I had to drive. Blah, 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 blah. He's talking about Amish crazy things. Uh, and then he said, all in all, I had a great time seeing Jake and Trey perform. Hoping I will get to meet Brad. Brad. Braden. In time and <laughs> someday. Thanks for all the laughs and stories you all provide. Praise God and love you guys. That's awesome. I'm telling you, a lot of ghosties up northeast. We yeah. should go to Pennsylvania and do something. What was that guy's name? Cameron. Oh, yeah. We were meeting you. Cool, dude. <laughs> It's funny about the guy that just sat there the whole time. Yeah. Man, I, I'd like to think I surely I made him laugh at least once. There's no way he didn't laugh at least once. <laughs> I know. There's no way. Some I, of the crowd work, he had to. Have. I always take solace in the fact that I really enjoy things that I don't laugh out loud at sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like maybe people have really enjoyed this episode, but they didn't laugh out loud. Yeah, I told Lucas after uh, one of his sets this weekend, I was like, hey, I was, I was listening to it. Like, I want you to... Well, you know, I smiled the whole time. Yeah. Like I was like, it just, I was excited listening to it. Like it just really made me happy. So I was that's like, it was thing. great. Smiling. Can't hear it. That, that's can't, a phony phrase. Can't, can't hear, hear a smile. Yeah. But people still enjoy it. You can still hear a smile with your headphones. Now nah, the one we said first was better. <laughs> listen, listen to my smile. You can kind of hear my lips moving. <laughs> can't kind of hear it. There it is. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> when he said talked about Friday or to Isaac about Friday Pickleball, Isaac at the Reading show said he got his first legitimate like completely organic like someone recognized him from Friday Pickleball, like not like oh I know you from Ghost Runners and Isaac and yeah yeah it happened to be a scenario where this woman said she I guess she's at the merch table somehow with her friend she's like just chatting up with Isaac like I don't even know my friends love Trey I don't even recognize her I feel like I've never seen Trey before but I'm just coming along to be a good sport and so. Anyway, I'm excited to see the show tonight or whatever. And as she gets talking to you, she's like, why do you look familiar? Like, do you make videos? <laughs> and I was like, I do a little bit. I can make pickle videos. She's like, that's why you look familiar. No way. So she didn't know me, didn't know Trey, didn't know anything, but recognized I, like, you know, purely alone from the pickle videos. So that's kind of fun. I don't think that's ever happened before. That's awesome. 
It's starting. Kind of fun. Hey. That's cool. Just, right. you know, sharks can't climb trees. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, this has been Wednesday episode. Let's get out of here. It is sundown in Beijing. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go have lunch at Main Street Roasters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Have a good week. See you later. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.